but l- this idea, this fear that just being adjacent to something makes you complicit in that thing is I mean, ridiculous. I gotta be honest. I understand it a little bit with Donald Trump. Maybe not so much with Michael Bloomberg, Bloomberg. But who the hell knows what Donald Trump is going to say? And you don't want to be the person that came in right before Trump well, and dude, tried no, to Fox gets make to a point. Fox gets to approve the ad. I mean, I'm not... My point isn't that like he's going to say something offensive. My point is that he's going to say something outrageous either way. Yeah. You don't want to be the guy that advertised <laughs> gonna, right before Donald Trump got on screen. screen. Yeah. <laughs> like he's he's going to go all out on Colin Kaepernick yeah. for a nice tie into last time's episode. Like he's going to do something outrageous regardless of whether you agree with it or not. So who wants to be Doritos coming in right before Donald Trump yeah. and no matter how good an ad you come up with, Donald Trump is coming in guns blazing. Well, like, well, look, look, why doesn't that apply just for advertising in the same game or in the commercial break before, in the commercial break after? I mean, maybe or in it like should. the welcome back screen to the game when well, it's like but the Super I mean, Bowl. positioning in the ad market like actually yeah. is important. I mean, the same way as on a supermarket shelf, like where you are on the shelf, like how much you're paying for a spot, a lot of times yeah. is determined well, by I'm where that spot is in the rotation. I'm just going to assume that every advertiser in the Super Bowl supports both Trump and Bloomberg because they're advertising on the same game. That's a great assumption and one Guilt that by association. is... Yeah, I mean, makes sense uh, in the I mean, what's the next story? Bernie has no apps. Yeah.